Salutations and good morrow everyone and welcome back to another Grounded Update video where today we're going to be hanging out on our walls while we're talking the newest update that's come out to the public test build for the Bug Strike Back update. What we're going to do is we're going to hop over into the Discord. We're going to read through all the small changes that have happened. We'll check out a couple of them. This is going to be a shorter video for you guys. So if you could watch all the way to the end because there's a lot of information that's going to come in at you kind of quick. So let's get over to that Discord now, shall we? Alright, so we have public test 3723 to 3730 and it says turrets can be mounted on walls and ceilings you guys saw that by me literally being on the wall with a turret glue factory has proper icon on the building radial glue prices have been slightly increased one more part per recipe i added glue recipes for spider parts and black ox beetles gold creature cards now show proper health rating waff provoker recipe updated to match to better match final art Mixers should animate and make noise again when activated. Base attacks are allowed to be slightly more destructive now that they happen less frequently. Waft Provoker has been renamed to Waft Emitter. Updated turret description to note that it does extra damage against creatures involved in defensive events. And also they updated the lighting. So let's go back over to Grounded and let's check out a couple of these changes. Okay, so first of all, you guys already saw that yes, we can put a turret on the wall. And we can also put it on the ceiling if we wanted to as well. And yeah, I could just hang upside down and just hang out and chill and shoot rot pebbles at people if I so wanted to. If that so be what I wanted to do. Ah! Nope, but I would missed. Anyway, uh, so yeah, that's you can do that now. So you could go ahead and do that. Also, building radial for the glue factory has been updated. There's now one acorn top and five sprigs still. But you can actually see that the icon's been changed instead of looking exactly like our smoothie maker. Um, other things that have changed. So if we go through and we look at the gold cards, you'll now see that it shows off their heart meters again. The gold cards weren't doing that before. They are now properly showing the amount of hearts that they have, their health meters. That's that heart that's right there. So that is what all the gold cards are currently doing. You can see all of my gold cards right there. Actually, I am in the way. Let me move down a little bit so you guys can actually see what I was talking about. Yes, the, the hearts are updated right up there. So that's that one. And then the waft provoker, guys. This one's pretty easy or waft emitter now it's called. You can see it's now two ladybug parts, one ladybug head, four bug goop, and five clay now to make this guy. So a pretty easy one still to make, but thankfully it looks way better than it did before. And the recipe's updated to match. But pretty much that's everything that's been updated in this update, guys. There was some lighting changes and stuff like that to help out make things run a little bit smoother. But all in all, guys, that's it for this one. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that like button. I know it was a shorter one. But hey, we got to have those shorter videos just to cover those small updates. And also, if you guys could, don't forget to subscribe and leave me a comment down below. And as always, I'll see all of you guys in the next one.